Hello and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. I'm Doug Brown and today I'll be showing you how to install USB drivers for the NE1A safety controller. The basic hardware configuration is a computer running network configurator for device net safety, a USB cable, and of course an NE1A controller. Today, I happen to be using an NE1A-SCPU01L. The first question you need to ask is do I have the software installed? Although similar looking, the NE1A software is not the same as either CX Integrator or Network Configurator for Ethernet IP. Also, the NE1A software is not part of CX1, but is purchased separately. Its formal name is Network Configurator for Device Net Safety, and the part number is WS02 Charlie Frank Sam Charlie 1 V3. Some confusion does exist because with version 3 or higher of the NE1A software, it installs as a patch over top of Network Configurator for Ethernet IP when either CX1 or SysMac Studio is already installed on the computer. Let's see how to check whether the NE1A software has been installed or not. First, bring up the Start menu, go to All Programs, and look for an entry for Omron Network Configurator for Device Net Safety. If that's there, it means that you have the safety software installed. If you're already in Network Configurator, you can look under the hardware list for both DeviceNet and Ethernet IP hardware, and specifically for safety discrete I.O. devices and safety network controller devices. If you have those two entries, then you have the safety software installed. Now before I install the USB driver, let's just see what happens if I try to connect without the driver being properly installed. First I go to the option menu, go select interface, and verify that I've selected the NE1A USB port as the connection method. Next, I go to the network menu and connect. I immediately get an error message saying interface cannot be opened and this is your signal that you have not installed the USB drivers properly. So let's go ahead and install the USB drivers. I'm going to hit the Windows key, I'm going to type in device manager, hit enter, and this brings up the Windows device manager. And I can see right away that under other devices, I have the NE1A USB port with an exclamation mark beside it. It did not uh, install the drivers correctly for this. When you first plug the device into your computer, you may have noticed uh, it go through a, or attempt to go through an install process, uh, and it probably would have failed. So if I want to install the driver, right click, and I'm going to go update driver software. I want to choose browse my computer for driver software. And now I want to point it to the C drive, program files, or program files x86 if you're running a 64-bit install. Then you'll go to Omron, CX1, Network Configurator, Safety Drivers, and USB. If you do not have the Safety Drivers directory under Network Configurator, that's another great uh, hint that you do not have the safety software installed. Now I can click OK. Make sure that you have include subfolders checked. Next. And it finds the driver and asks us for permission to install. And now it's finished installing. I click close. There actually is an extra USB serial port uh, with an exclamation mark that's part of the same uh, device. So we could go ahead and install drivers for that as well. Again, browse, point it to the same directory, install. It will connect even if you don't do the second part. Just the first piece that we installed will allow it to connect. So everything's now happy. You will see under Universal Serial Bus Controllers the Omron NE1A device. If you see that, that's a good sign. That means that Network Configurator should connect. So back in Network Configurator, again, confirm option, select interface. We have the NEXA USB port selected. Network, connect. I will upload, uh, let's say doing a, create a new network. And scan the network. I'm going to start a new document. Don't want to save the old one. And it goes ahead, scans the network. And it should find my NE1A SCP-01L. 
A couple of final notes about the installation process. If you did not already have CX1 or Sysmax Studio installed, you may find that the install directory for network configurator is a little bit different. Also, depending on the hardware configuration of your computer, when you plug the NE1A into a different USB port on your computer, you may have to go through that install process a second or third time. And that is how you install USB drivers for the NE1A safety controller. Stay tuned for more quick tip videos from Omron.